wholemeal bread. Produced locally, from start to finish, in the traditional way. Isn't that the end of the story? Shouldn't you be starting at the beginning? Yes, you're right. Located on the River Vare, just over a mile from Redbourne, is a working water mill. The mill was extensively damaged by fire in 1988 and has been fully restored with considerable help from local enthusiasts. Volunteers also help with the daily running of the mill. Grain is fed into the hopper and then, in turn, into the tun, which houses the grinding stone. Flour flows down to the lower level, where it's collected in sacks. Because the mill uses gravity for several of its processes, it's necessary for grain, or in this case flour, to be hoisted to the upper floors. During a well-earned coffee break, volunteers get the chance to sample cakes and buns made from the mill's flour. The rest of it goes down there. Um, but during the during the day, um, and when the museum things open as a museum. The milling process produces flour of all grades, from fine to coarse. This needs to be sieved or dressed to separate the various grades.
The mill produces many of the well-recognized flowers. It also mixes its own special blend. The formula is a secret. Steve Mansbridge is a real baker, passionate about bread in a way that fits with the traditional values of the mill. Uh, no, I, it's had one mix. That's rested for a min has to rest for a minimum 20 minutes. 20 minutes. As long as you rest it for 20 minutes, you're okay. All the extra time does is give it more flavour. Doesn't help with process whatsoever. The actual process is the 20 minutes. So you mix it, leave it for 20 minutes, and you can make a load straight away. water going in there. That's spring water here. Yeah. Yeah. Bread, cakes and flour can be bought from the mill's own shop. also be purchased at local farmers markets such as at Wheatumstead, Harpenden and here in St Albans. I've got, I can do it. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm trying to find some way. I've got a bit of 